Morning guys, welcome back to KC Farms. It's John, Brooklyn, and Isaiah. And we are almost 100% sure that Millie and Penny are bred, but we're not sure about Ethel, our mini donkey. We're gonna head over there today. We gotta clean up their area because we're getting a bunch of rain tomorrow. And let's see what you guys think. Do you guys think she's pregnant? <laughs> We made it. Um, we are at the donkeys. You can see them over there. They're finishing up breakfast. They've got a little hay this morning. Um, what we're gonna do before we get to inspecting each donkey, got a lot of poop. It's supposed to rain really hard tomorrow. And uh, we wanna get this cleaned out because they will probably be spending some time in there. Easiest way I found out to get the house cleaned out, we've got this little small door right here kind of sticks at the top so it takes me a minute to pull it but I just rake everything towards this door and uh, we can shovel it right out into the bucket <laughs> we'll just have to get that door propped open so the wind doesn't shut it but we're gonna get this poop raked up get them a nice spot before the rain tomorrow then we're gonna check out those donkeys That is mud. Woo! You can obviously see, guys, it's windy. That is much better in here. We're done inside. Kids have started outside breaking piles. We'll drive the tractor around and pick those up. Let's get out there and help them. Okay guys, we've got a bunch of manure piles that we're gonna be picking up here. We've got the other two donkeys occupied and we were able to get Ethel on a halter. Isaiah's got her in here. Now this is our first time with donkeys and these were possibly bred when we got them. So we're not 100% sure, but she started to sag down here in her belly. And I've seen pictures of pregnant donkeys that just get huge, so I don't think maybe it's anytime soon, but uh, what do you guys think? She's starting to sag in that belly, kind of getting big. Get a little top view here. So, I mean, like I said, I don't think it's any time within a week or so, but what do you think, possibly? I think she might be. If she's not, we're not upset. Our goal is not to breed and raise a whole bunch of donkeys. But, but it would we be cool to see some baby donkeys. Yeah, it would be cool. But, uh, so I just, we just wanted to show you guys that. Maybe um, it seems like her belly's getting bigger and harder. But we've never, never had donkeys before. These are our first. So we just wanted to kind of get her and see what y'all think. But would be exciting. But like I said, we wouldn't be disappointed if she wasn't. So I'm just gonna get around Isaiah here, show a picture of that belly. So put it down in the comments. Do you think she's bred? Yes, no, maybe so. But anyway, she is just the sweetest donkey. She actually kind of looks like Donkey from Shrek. She's short and gray. Um, but she's she's kind of kind of uh, 
not really scared, but once you touch her and start petting her, then she just stays still for you. She seems to enjoy your company. So anyway, we're kind of thinking maybe, what do you think, Ethel? Possibly little donkeys in the future. So. I want baby donkeys. What? I want baby donkeys. <laughs> yeah. That would be that would be something different, definitely different than a little pig or a baby that, chicken. Though? The babies, yeah. Well, yes, if he, I don't think they'd go through that. They're a little bit bigger than a baby pig. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to show you that. Um, Marine, they came at the same time, and Marine was possibly exposed as well. Um, she's kind of always been fatter than Ethel. Um, so we're not sure and they've got all this fur and hair right now. So it's, it's kind of harder to tell Here comes Ethel But anyway, what are your thoughts put them in the comments? We'll see what you guys think. Obviously We'll know a couple months who knows how long I've heard it can be up to 12 months for gestation on donkeys um, We're still learning as we go on these so We're thinking possibly but we're gonna get that tractor in here and they're not gonna like that. So we probably won't be able to catch or pet them anymore after we bring that tractor in. We're gonna bring in the tractor and get some of this manure picked up and take it over to our compost piles. So you guys ready to start doing that? Yeah, uh, I guess. All right, we'll start getting some manure and get it out of here for these donkeys. this cleaned up is a lot better than it was obviously you're not gonna get every donkey turd but that's how the donkeys are doing we've got their pens clean if we get a ton of rain and they want to be inside tomorrow then uh, they've got a spot that doesn't have any manure in it that'll be good we did get a new water the other day we've had this big plastic one and it cracked when it got frozen with ice so we got a new water it's this nice big one from tractor supply and that has been working really well thought we'd show you that you need a good option for a water and you got freezing water or freezing temperatures get one of those rubber pans is probably about 30 bucks but it will probably last forever so there's the update on the donkeys we shall see if there is a baby donkey in the future we've got one more thing to show you before we let you go and that has to do with the chickens now that spring is coming Okay guys, we did have a small miracle yesterday. We actually left the feed store for under a hundred dollars. It was amazing. Normally we spend a couple hundred dollars every time we're there. We normally buy in bulk. We've got layer pellet feed. We've got our pig feed. It is cheaper if you buy in bulk. So if you've got the animals and you keep going through a ton of feed, ask your feed store about buying in bulk. But for the chickens, spring is coming. They have started laying crazy amounts of eggs again, which is awesome. So sometimes we don't do this and I know it's good for them. So we're gonna be putting this in here. I know a lot of people don't do it, but we've got some grit. And so grit helps them digest their feed in that gizzard. That gizzard crushes up that feed and that grit helps out. So we're gonna be adding some grit. And we've also got some um, calcium, some oyster shell for them. We've had some chickens laying some softer egg shells and this will help firm up your egg shells. I think there's only one out there doing it, but we add this in the coops and uh, we've got these little, I believe they're actually for goats. This one's pretty dusty, but it is a mineral feeder. So we've got them hanging in the chicken coops. So we put oyster in one and grit in the other. So they just have free choice. So sis and I are gonna get out there and uh, add some of this grit and oyster in for the chickens and uh, we're gonna show you some of the eggs, hopefully. It's about 11 o'clock here 
and we should have a couple eggs. We'll show you what they've been looking like. All right, guys, pretty simple. Um, it definitely helps out the chickens. Those are the Novagens over there, and they have been laying great all winter. They're starting to pick up even more now that uh, we're getting some better temperatures and the day, days are longer. But I wanted to show you these Whiting True Blues over here. It is windy, so I apologize for the wind. But they have been laying more than the Novagens lately. And uh, it looks like there's two girls in there laying right now, but I might try to kick them out of here. Ladies, can we see your eggs real quick? Anybody? Oh, I see one in there. Excuse me. Do you see those beautiful blue eggs in there? They keep kicking the hay out of the box. So we're going to try and think of something different, but man, we've been getting 11, 12 beautiful blue eggs every day. This is their first full season of laying, so we are excited about these Whiting True Blues and would recommend them if you're wanting some blue eggs and a lot of them. They've been doing well, but anyway, just a tip there if you need to add some grit or some oysters to harden your eggshells. We're going to let you go before it gets way too windy. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and also Facebook. All right, guys, don't forget to make the change. We'll see you on the next video.